with heavier rain, some modestly gusty winds coming from that region. So if you're around the Lake Seminole counties, you can have a higher chance for a few of those spotty thunderstorms early this evening compared to areas in the southeastern Big Bend. Nonetheless, the front will sweep all the way through all counties through the next 6 to 12 hours. And as it does so, you will start to see a clearing trend. So watch for the lingering clouds and maybe a few spotty showers. I do think by midnight, most rain chances dwindle to near zero. Maybe a couple that can linger through the 3, 4 a.m. hour. But the expectation for your Wednesday is that we'll have a steady clearing trend, full sunshine, and less mugginess. It does not really mean we're going to have a brisk, cool afternoon as those forecast highs are still likely to get well into the 80s. But at least when it comes to future rainfall, again, aside from those spotty, heavy downpours, most areas receive less than a tenth of an inch of rain right through the nighttime period. We'll have coolest readings in the morning across the southwest Georgia corner with mid and upper 50s, lower 60s elsewhere, especially in northern Florida, but a drier lower and mid 80s. So not much of a heat index value to speak of for tomorrow near or slightly above average. That's going to be the trend for highs, but those morning lows Thursday, Friday mornings, uh, 50s will be in store and that could be the last of the 50s for quite some time. Moisture and warmth resume this weekend with pop up showers and storms possible. More news at